Hey, this is Leo, and these are all the new features in Ableset version 2.7. Let's get started with support for the Oakboard Floor Vista controller. I have one right here, and when I plug this into my computer, you'll see that Ableset automatically recognizes it, adds the correct MIDI mappings for it, and immediately shows you the current set list on its display. So now you can just use the previous and next song buttons to jump between songs. You can use the play button to start playback and the stop button to stop playback. Of course, you can change those MIDI mappings if you wanted to. In addition to jumping between songs, you can also jump between sections. And you can do that by holding down the previous or the next button. So for example, if you want to jump to the next section, we just hold down the next button. And you can now see that for a little while, instead of a list of songs, you'll see a list of sections on the display. And they will set jumps to the next sections. I currently have my jump mode set to end of song, so Ableset will wait until the end of a song to jump to the next one. And what that means is that I can now start playback. I can jump between songs, and you'll see that the little play icon stays with the song that is currently playing. And when I'm ready to start the song that I've currently selected, I just press play again, and now Ableset plays that song. Ableset 2.7 now also supports Direct Out's Xbox MD which is a redundant audio interface that uses Dante or MADI signals and allows you to instantly fail over from one computer to another one should uh, Ableton crash, for example. I will link a demo of this feature in the video description below. Next, let's take a look at the performance view, which has gotten a bunch of new features and improvements. And one of the biggest ones is the ability to show a floating set list right next to the performance information. So to enable that, open the settings menu, scroll down and then enable the setlist option. And now you have a setlist just like in the setlist view right next to the performance view. Now when I start playback, you might notice two new things. Uh, one of those is a new tag that shows you the remaining time in the current song. And the other one is that the remaining time of the setlist is now updating in real time as well. You can click on either one of those to open a bit display of the current either remaining time in the set or the remaining time in the song or both if you like. Another new feature is the ability to view the current measure in the performance view. And to do that, just open the settings menu, enable current measure, and now you'll see the current measure and the current beat right here. You can also click on it, and that opens a big display with the current measure and the current beat. By default, this uh, current measure is taken from Ableton's current measure display over here. So these two always match. But there's now an option to override these measures using a measures track. So to do that, just create a new MIDI track, which is called measures, and then create one MIDI clip per measure. The name of the MIDI clip contains the current measure. So for example, I could create one here and name that one. And as soon as I'm in here, you'll see that Ableset uh, recognizes it and the current measure is now one. And as soon as no more measure clip is detected, it will default back to Ableton's own uh, system of measures. Creating all those measure clips yourself can be quite tedious, so I've created a tool that helps you with that. And this allows you to automatically create a given number of measure clips in a given meter. So for example, for hard to know, I might want to have 200 measures in 4.4. I can now download this as a measure track. Then let me just take this, drag it into live. Those clips will always start at the beginning of the arrangement, so I'll go here, cut them, and then paste them into my measures track, starting at the beginning of the song. And I might have a bit too many clips here, so I'll just delete those at the end. And now those MIDI clips are represented in the performance view. The name of these measure clips is usually a number, but if you want to include more information, you can just uh, add that. For example, I can name this C8, and now Ableset shows C8 and then dot three for the current beat. Next, Ableset now supports OSC tracks, which allows you to send timed OSC commands to either Ableset itself or any external apps or devices. To create an OSC track, just create a new MIDI track, give it any name and add plus OSC at the end. Each clip on this track will now be considered an OSC command and automatically triggered when the playhead hits it. So for example, I've created a new clip here that calls the notify big command in the Ableset. 
And that shows you a message that the chorus uh, will start in five seconds. Now, as soon as the playhead hits it, or I put my cursor here, Ableset sends this OSC command, in this case to Ableset itself, and that shows the notification here in the performance view. If I only want Ableset to send these OSC commands while life is playing, I can add an attribute, which is playing. And now when I place my cursor inside of the clip, this OSC command isn't triggered. But when I start playback, and the playhead hits this clip, then this OSC command is triggered. Now, if you don't want to send OSC commands to Ableset, but instead, for example, an external device or an application, you can add its IP address as an attribute to the track name. So for example, here I have an OSC track that sends commands to my XR18 mixer, which has the IP address of 192.168.188.84 and port 10024. Now, each OSC command that I put in MIDI clips here on this track is now automatically sent to this IP address. In this case, this allows me to automatically enable or disable effects on my mixer. It also would enable me to mute or unmute uh, specific channels or maybe change the volume of some of those channels. To test those OSC commands, I have added a new settings page. So if we go to settings and then to OSC log and tester, you will see first a log of all OSC commands that have been sent in the past. And we've got an OSC command tester here which allows you to send OSC commands either to Ableset or external devices or applications to see how they react. For commands that are sent to Ableset, you also get a list of available ones. So if I start typing, for example, slash global, um, you now get commands that are in the global namespace. So I could try uh, slash global slash play, maybe send this OSC command and now Ableset starts playback. And now let's try global slash pause, send that, and now Ableset pauses. I'll include a link to the documentation in the description below. Next, let's take a look at the setlist view, which includes a new settings button. And that, similarly to the performance view, allows you to customize your setlist view on a per device basis. So for example, if I didn't want to see the current time signature, I could disable this. If I wanted to show song and section numbers, I could enable this here. And I can also show the remaining song and setlist time just by enabling this option here. There's also a new feature, which is the record indicator. Now, when I enable this, you'll get a new button down here. And now, instead of starting playback, I can start recording. And if I wanted to stop recording, I can just press this button again. This record indicator is also available in the performance view. I can just go to the settings and then enable record indicator and that basically does the same thing. Now let's take a look at the lyrics view, which has also gotten a per device settings button. And for now this is fairly simple, but you have the ability to hide, for example, the play pause or the loop toggle, and you can also show the record indicator up here. Ableset 2.7 comes with a bunch of other new improvements and features. So if you want to see all changes, check out the changelog in the description below. Let me know if you have any questions or feedback. And I wish you a great day.